Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank the organisers for asking me to uh, step into such large shoes of Professor Emery and to do this talk. Uh, I see this as a real opportunity. Um, in, in talking about chronic pancreatitis, I think one has to contextualise um, the disease and contextualise the environment in which we treat this disease. My experience comes from an environment where I'm treating predominantly indigent patients, where diseases of nutrition, alcoholism is very high. And so the, the problems we see may be slightly different. And I think in discussing chronic pancreatitis, we're not quite clear about whether we're all treating the same condition. I work in an environment where I have a high density uh, uh, township on my front door. I have informal settlements and I have a metropolitan city and I'm treating patients from all of these areas with this particular condition. Now the treatment of chronic pancreatitis, as I think we've already heard, still remains a challenge. As we understand the pathophysiology of pain in chronic pancreatitis, so I think we start to understand what we're trying to achieve with our operations. Um, but the fact that there's still a very large menu of operations to choose from suggests that we haven't found uh, that uh, the best operation at this stage. And clearly up front I think it needs to be stated that the concept of pancreatic burnout over a long period of time from my perspective doesn't support a nihilistic approach to surgical treatment. So what would be our goals in treating these patients? Well obviously the first is to treat pain, the most common presenting problem in most patients. However, we see between a third and 50% of patients will present with a complication from chronic pancreatitis and that needs to be dealt with. Preservation of function is an important issue. We've already heard that there are two components to this. There's the consequences of the operation, but there's also the natural history of the disease. I think it should be clear up front that when treating chronic pancreatitis, we're not actually treating the underlying disease. We're treating the consequences of the underlying disease. Social and occupational rehabilitation is a very important consideration and I think it's underestimated or understressed in many of our reporting of this disease. We've got to improve quality of life and lastly